Lindsay here, the Frugal Crafter, with a tip for you to use these scraps of twine. You know when you tie a bow or you, you're done embellishing your card, you get those little scraps left over? Well, don't toss them because I'm going to show you how to use them. So what I did was uh, I didn't have a heart punch, so I just freehand cut a heart out of paper, punched it, then I stamped with love on it, and here's the uh, piece I cut out of it. And um, then I cut a little square that was just a little bit bigger than that heart, so I'd have a place where I can add some adhesive. I'm going to use score tape here, but you could use any double-sided tape. Um, I would pr uh, recommend a dry adhesive over a um, glue just because it's going to be easier to deal with. If you have sheets of adhesive, that's even better. But the, uh, the score tape is super sticky, so I know that's going to work out really well. And I like that you can tear it as you go. And uh, you can find this at uh, scorepal.com, I believe. And then what I'm going to do is just peel off the backing. And then I'm going to lay the baker's twine strips down on top, so you don't have to be too too fussy about it. I'm going to try to um, try to separate them by color so that I I'm not necessarily going for a pattern, but I want to um, I don't want the same color next to each other. I don't want two reds next to each other. You know what I mean? Get my drift. And um, I'm going to try to get it so that I have some overhang so that I can trim that off and add it to the bottom because I don't have too many scraps. But I'd finished up a set of cards today, and that video will be up in a couple of days. And uh, it was they, they were really cute, and I really liked the color scheme and stuff. But I had all these little scraps left over because I had used baker's twine on them, and I just didn't want to throw them away. So why don't I pause the video and then come back when I've uh, when I've stuck all those down so you don't have to watch it. All right, I have uh, stuck my little pieces down. Now I'm just going to give it a trim on the side, just to take. Oops, my that adhesive, my fabric scissors do not like the adhesive. Maybe I can trim that up a little bit more. There we go. Get the crumbs away. And now this is going to go on top, but first I want to prepare a tag for it to go on. Isn't that cute? You can even tip it to the side if you like that better. It's completely up to you. Um, so I'm just going to adhere my uh, pattern paper to this tag. And then I'll trim it out. thought it would be nice to go with kind of a rainbow theme here. And I was going to use a knife, but actually I think that the scissors will work just as well. So think of all the cute like ribbons and um, yarn and string and different things like that you can recycle. All those little ribbon scraps you hate to throw away, but they're only like an inch or two long. This is just the perfect, the perfect use for this. All right, so I'm just going to fold that little adhesive over and put a little more on the back of my, put a little more score tape on the back. That will hold it in place really well off my backing. This would be really pretty with ribbon, wouldn't it? I've got a whole jar of ribbon I could totally uh, make use of. I'm just going to put, I think I want the yellow on top. I'm going to put it like that. And use some foam squares to stick the uh, little frame on top. So if you don't have a punch, like I didn't have that heart punch, you can even see where I drew it on the back. Um, you know, freehand it. Use a craft knife. Nobody says you have to have it perfect. It has to be die cut. You know, we're, most people are pretty decent at cutting things out. If you just give yourself a chance, you can usually cut uh, a basic shape. And that was that, I mean, it didn't take any more time than it would for me to dig a punch out of a punch drawer, you know? I don't have very many punches. So a tip like that is useful for me. And there you go. And then punch a little hole. I just flip it over and I look at where the, um, where the hole is supposed to be. And then I had this little short piece of twine left over from that same project. And I'm just going to put that right in there. So don't feel bad about those little scraps that you have left over from a project. Turn them into something really fun. Like this cute tag. It's going to be ready for the next present that I have to give. There you have it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Whoa, I forget. We're upside. We're right side up now. Until next time. Happy crafting.